I am Eric Day. I work as a prototype machinist at Carnegie Mellon University. A prototype machinist usually works closely with engineers to help bring ideas into the real world. So there may be some days where I spend the whole day working on plans, doing math, assisting engineers with what they need to do. On other days, I may be running machines, running saws and milling machines and grinders to actually make a product. There are multiple levels to training to be a machinist for the very basic kind of safety that you need to know in the basic math to work around machines. And it's typically between six months and a year. The exciting thing about being a machinist and specifically a prototype machinist is there's always something new. There's always a new technology. There are situations where I don't have a sketch or design to work with. I simply have a problem, an idea, and I'm starting from basically nothing. I'm Jessica Parshuk. I am an electronics engineer at Carnegie Mellon University. There's been several times where I have handed something to Eric and I say, we need more vacuum holes on this piece of equipment. He comes up with a design and then we can tweak it if it needs some small changes here and there. Prototyping machinists are very valuable at CMU because they help us keep up with our ever-changing design needs. I think the kind of person that would be attracted to this kind of work is just people who like to do hands-on things. While there is a lot of math and a lot of design, there's a really special feeling when you take something that's just an idea and turn it into like a real physical mechanism. The seemingly inconsequential prototypes and pieces and mechanisms that I'm making here can be used by researchers in their work in physics to really further the knowledge that we have of the world around us. And that's a good thought at the end of the day, to know that the work I'm doing here is actually helping everybody.